we're asked to determine the limit using L'Hopital's rule. Let's begin by checking the form of the limit. As x approaches 0, e to the 5x approaches e to the 0 or 1, and then we have minus 1, and then minus 5x, where 5x approaches 0 as x approaches 0. The numerator is in the limit of 1 minus 1 minus 0, which is 0. And as x approaches 0, 4x squared also approaches 0. The limit is in the form of 0 divided by 0, which is one of the indeterminate forms in which we can apply L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule states the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x, which means this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. So let's work on determining the derivatives. The derivative of the numerator is equal to the derivative of e to the power of 5x, which is equal to e to the power of 5x times the derivative of 5x, which is 5. And then we have minus the derivative of 1, which is 0, minus the derivative of 5x, which is equal to 5. And now we divide by the derivative of 4x squared, which is 8x. Let's go ahead and simplify this. We have the limit as x approaches 0 of, we have 5e to the 5x minus 5 divided by 8x. Now notice here if we try to perform direct substitution, we still have the form of 0 divided by 0. As x approaches 0, the numerator approaches 5 times e to the 0, where again e to the 0 is 1, and therefore e to the 5x approaches 5, and 5 minus 5 is 0, and as x approaches 0, 8x approaches 0. So because we still have the indeterminate form of 0 divided by 0, we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. And the derivative of 5 times e to the 5x is equal to 5 e to the 5x times 5, or 25 e to the 5x minus the derivative of 5, which is 0, divided by the derivative of 8x, which is equal to 8. And now we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution because we have the constant of 8 in the denominator. So performing direct substitution to find the limit, we have 25 times e to the power of 5 times 0 divided by 8. And e to the 0 is equal to 1, giving us a limit of 25 eighths. And let's verify this graphically. 25 eighths is equivalent to 3.125. So analyzing the graph, notice as we approach x equals 0 from the right and from the left, we are approaching the y value or function value of 3.125, which again is equal to 25 eighths. I hope you found this helpful.